Okay, so this is tutorial number one for the Humanian Belief Manual, and just for overall orientation, let's remember if we go to humanianity.com, we arrive at the home section, and then the other sections of the website are listed uh, along the bottom, and we're going to go then to the Belief Manual. And now we have the option, it says here, of entering the belief manual without being signed in, in which case you can't do anything, but you can see everything. In fact, you can do stuff up to the point of entering data, but then it won't allow that data to be entered. Uh, on the other hand, if we sign in, uh, we're able to do everything. And so at first here, we're going to, in this tutorial, just uh, be in the belief manual without being signed in. So notice it says not signed in. And <clears throat> now you notice that there are these buttons here uh, in the header portion. Uh, and uh, then down here are the outline headings under which the beliefs are. And so we can click on uh, an outline heading and see everything that is under it, including under the subheadings. And if we wanted to just see what was under a subheading, we would just click on that, and then that's the only set of beliefs we would see. And we can actually then close that by clicking on it again and open it again by clicking on it again. Okay, so <clears throat> now it says that uh, the above selected are all the beliefs in the Humanian Belief Manual. But suppose we wanted to view just the ethical beliefs. We would turn off the existential beliefs. Notice the uh, heavy outline saying that this is turned on. So we turn it off, and now we just see the ethical uh, beliefs. And if we wanted to see just the existential beliefs, we would turn off the ethical, and that would automatically turn the existential back on. And then if we wanted to see all of them, we would just click on ethical to uh, get it turned on. Then the next buttons are the unendorsed and endorsed buttons, and they refer to whether a belief has been endorsed by at least one organization. And that means that 90% or more of those in the organization who are expressing an opinion have voted yes, uh, and at least two members of the organization have voted. Okay, so if we want to see just the endorsed uh, beliefs, then we would turn off unendorsed, and we see uh, these. And then if we want to see just the unendorsed, we would turn off endorsed, and here are these. Okay, so let's turn those back on. Now the next thing is definitions. And you notice that um, some uh, uh, of the beliefs have uh, a notation that there are definitions attached. and. Uh, uh, here's another one here, one definition. Okay, so if we want to see those definitions, we turn on the definitions button. And <clears throat> here are the definitions shown under the beliefs. Um, we can turn those back off. Uh, the definition list is something different. Uh, it is list of all the definitions, and uh, if we click on that, we see here are all of the different definitions. We will be getting back to this in the next tutorial, uh, but um, uh, the next thing that we want to see is numbers. Now, every belief has a number, and so if we turn on numbers, we see that at the very beginning, the number is given as five digits with leading zeros. Uh, we can turn numbers back off. The next button is comments. 
And <clears throat> um, we can see that uh, some beliefs, for instance, this one, shows that there is a comment. Now, if we want to see comments, then we would click on comments, and then under each belief uh, is a button which, if grayed in, shows that there is a comment there. And so if I click on this, I will see it. Now, uh, if I were signed in, I could uh, sign, I could um, enter some uh, of my own comments and so on. So now we'll go back and turn off comments. Um, the next thing, uh, now, uh, these, the, the yellow means that it's especially important and voting, uh, will show us the voting statistics, uh, but will not allow us to vote because we're not signed in. And so, uh, notice that when, uh, when the voting is, uh, turned on, then under each belief, it shows how many endorsing organizations, uh, there are for that belief. And then it shows the general format that, uh, that, uh, it's yes meaning, uh, agree, uh, no means disagree, and question mark means no opinion. And we see that there are 22, uh, members all together, uh, of the uh, belief manual and, uh, you see that, for instance, here, uh, 11 people have agreed, none have disagreed, and 11 have not offered an opinion. And then it shows you, but I'm not signed in, so this uh, is uh, not um, uh, not workable. For instance, if I click on yes, then it says must be registered and sign in to vote, and it didn't change it at all. So um, uh, then we notice that there are individuals uh, uh, listed to the far right, and so if I wanted to find out who the uh, individuals were who uh, did agree, then I could turn on this, and there's individuals who agree, individuals who disagree, and if I were... Uh, signed in, or uh, I, I could also find out about individuals who agree and are in my organization or something like that. Uh, so individuals who agree, uh, there they are. And uh, uh, so I could also then do individuals who disagree. You see that nobody disagrees with this one. Okay. Now, um, notice that there are no manuals listed here. There can be up to four. And uh, if I were signed in, the, the first manual that would appear would be my own, uh, showing my own uh, voting statistics. And <clears throat> then um, I could also visit another individual and I can go over here to visit and visit an individual's belief manual. And I can search for that individual. And uh, for now, I'll just put in an A, and that will give me a long list to choose from. And um, so I'll choose uh, Michael. And notice that he has... Um, Voted on, uh, has voted yes on 43, no on 11, and not expressed an opinion on 48. And by the way, the uh, usernames are made up for the purposes of this tutorial. <clears throat> um, I could also visit an organization's belief manual, and uh, there are some there are a couple of um, uh, organizations that are for demonstration only. Um, the two in North Carolina, 
uh, actually exist, but one is totally inactive at this point. Uh, so I can uh, visit either one of these. So I'll visit this one, Charlotte Humanianity, and we see that um, uh, its manual is shown here. Um, and if I, and it's showing all of those beliefs that are endorsed by this organization. Okay, so I'll turn that off. Uh, well, before I do that, uh, notice over here that uh, members, uh, this allows me to see, uh, the members who are registered in that Humanian organization, and then I can, uh, visit one of them and so on. Okay, so now we'll go back. Now, the, uh, next line, uh, it's saying show all uh, that's the default. And notice it says here, all beliefs, uh, Charlotte Humanianity endorses, and that's because this is what's turned on. Now, if I turn it off, it would say, uh, all beliefs in the Humanian Belief Manual. So this sentence here always tells what's being displayed. Uh, now, um, I can, choose to uh say uh um look at all the all the beliefs that charlotte humanity endorses but just those proposed or modified more than 180 days ago and if we do that we see we have this set um we can also uh, click on this and, uh, say, um, uh, between 11 and 20 individuals ag agree with it. And that shows these. Um, and this one is percent of those voting yes or no who are agreeing. And, uh, let's, uh, let's say 91 to 100 percent and see those are shown. Now, uh, I can turn these off by clicking on them like that. That turns, uh, this one off. Uh, I can also, uh, turn this one off the same way. Or I can cancel here and turn on all, which would turn off both of those others. And see, that's what has happened. Um, now let's take a look at the study button. Um, there may be a time when you want to take a look at a few beliefs scattered throughout the belief manual that have to do with one particular thing so that you can compare them or some uh, reason for having a specific list of proposed beliefs. Well, so what you would do is turn on the study button and notice that uh, right away there are some options. You can add, um, uh, add beliefs to uh, your list uh, in this manner, clicking on here, clicking on here. So I have saved uh, two beliefs there uh, in, in the study list. Um, now I could do something even more um, comprehensive than that. I could add all that are shown below at any particular time. So uh, we have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six beliefs here. So let's add those. Now, notice that uh, there's no duplication in the list. Uh, so now we have all six. Um, now, we can also uh, do something like 
adding all of the above selected, well, the ones that we've selected are all beliefs in the Charlotte Humanianity uh, 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 endorsed by Charlotte Humanianity. And so let's, uh, let's click on Add Above Selected. And that's a pr pretty big list. Um, so uh, it needs confirmation. So we'll say yes. And so notice that now there are 77. The original six were already included in uh, that. So um, now uh, uh, what we're now we can now we can view the um, uh, study list, uh, the part of the study list selected above, and. This is uh, now the study list by itself, and it has all of the beliefs that have been selected. Um, and I'm going to turn off voting so that uh, the um, it won't be so uh, confusing to look at. And um, uh, and so then uh, and. Uh, if, for instance, I want to go to now one of these beliefs, I would just click on it and it would uh, allow me to go to it in the outline. Um, uh, this is a pretty big list. Um, uh, well, first of all, um, uh, let's see what happens if we turn off uh, this. Now, uh, this is the total study list um uh uh independent of uh, in other words uh, from all all the beliefs selected from the humanian belief manual now i can uh end the view of the study list and i'm back to normal uh study is still turned on uh i can uh empty the study list uh and uh so, uh, but first, I can end the study list and save the list. That would be the same as just turning off study. Now, emptying the study list, there are 77. Now, there are none. Um, now, um, the, uh, I think that's, uh, well, we can end the study. Uh, uh, as uh, I indicated before. Okay, now uh, let's just take a look at asterisk. Um, so uh, one can click on a belief, if shown, to uh, asterisk it. And so we can uh, asterisk that, and there it is. And if um, uh, the outline is all closed up, one can follow the asterisks. Uh, and uh, uh, find the, the belief that is asterisk. Only one belief can be asterisked at a time. Um, uh, now, uh, having done that, if we click on asterisk again, we can uh, go to the asterisk belief, um, and that's just showing us where it is, and uh, we can uh, also remove the asterisk. So now the asterisk is gone. Now, next we can take a look at the uh, search uh, uh, function here. Um, now notice that um, our uh, search can uh, be just of ethical beliefs or just of existential beliefs, or of all three. Um, and uh, it's kind of assumed one would use the whole outline, but instead, if one wanted to use an outline heading, one could just take a look at uh, everything under one, one of these headings or, or subheadings. Um, so uh, we will go back. And now, um, notice that uh, in order to find the belief, you can use the belief number using leading zeros. 
uh, and uh, or a word or a phrase. Uh, so uh, if I put in something like uh, anger and submit it, then I can see all of these and I can uh, click on one of them and uh, go to that particular belief. Um, okay, now instead, um, let's turn on study again and then do search. And here we see a uh, study list doesn't have any beliefs in it. Uh, we can actually take whatever this list is here and save the list uh, for study. So if I click on this, uh, now the study list contains nine, and I can see the study list, and here it is. Um, so um, now let's turn off study. Um, and let's take a look at display. Uh, there are several options here. Um, one can first just take a look at the normal uh, outline, meaning the way that it normally behaves, but no beliefs. So there it is. So we can take a look at the whole outline and we can uh, 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 explore it in that way. Uh, instead, we can open uh, uh, the um, whole outline with no beliefs. And so this gives a good dis uh, display of every, uh, all the outline headings and subheadings. Um, now we can also uh, get rid of the outline and just take a look at all beliefs. And um, uh, there they are. Um, uh, there is still a notation indicating where they are found. And um, then uh, we can go to a normal display, uh, which is essentially the same as turning off display. Um, now visit, we have uh, already explored in the past. Remember that uh, uh, we can visit organizations and we can visit individuals. So we won't do that. Um, and then uh, finally, there's uh, this print button. And um, so whatever uh, list one is looking at, let's say uh, uh, this one, all beliefs that Charlotte Humanity endorses, uh, we can go ahead and print that. And um, uh, so uh, I'm not going to do that um, uh, uh, to save time, but uh, so we'll cancel it. And um, notice that in printing it, the, the top buttons are removed except for the uh, back arrow so that we can indeed get back out to the normal display. Well, that is the uh, completion of this tutorial uh, in which everything that one could uh, uh, do uh, has been displayed um, for someone not signed in. Uh, please continue now to find out all the different things that you can do uh, in building your belief manual and in contributing to the Worldwide Belief Manual.